I don't think we had any rules. We certainly didn't have a rule about glasses rim up or rim down. We were just happy to find a clean glass. <laughs> but as I got older, lived with other people, I discovered that people had rules. People had lots of serious rules they took very seriously. I didn't. I only had one rule. One rule that I thought was particularly important that that had pretty much had to be followed. The rest I, I didn't care about. <clears throat> this was my one rule. To my mind, <laughs> there was only one way to replace the toilet paper. <laughs> the logic of this was, as the Roman statesman and lawyer Cicero would say, res ipsit locatar, or duh. But my, my arrogance and certainty was challenged by an un, unexpected source, the world's most brilliant philosopher, Ludwig Wittgenstein, who said, nobody thinks logically. They just put the logic into it after the fact to justify their position. <laughs> so for an issue this important, I felt I had to go to a more important source, to an American, to Thomas Jefferson, who said, it's not important what the rule is. What's important is that there's a rule. <laughs> For example, you can be pretty sure that the conversation here is not, listen, Black Bart, how come I'm always the one who has to compromise? I put the glasses on the shelf the way you want to. Why can't you compromise this time and agree that ace is high in this game and I should win this hand? Or here, in the background, people are trying to work out a compromise. The people in the front, they didn't try to compromise. They just applied a rule. They probably went to the bartender, asked her if she had a rule book. She probably did, and returned to, turned to maybe the rules according to Hoyle. Because compromise, communication and compromise is essential in a, in a, in a in a relationship, whether it's uh, house guests or roommates or grandkids coming to visit. But you don't always need a compromise. Sometimes you just need a rule. <laughs> so tonight, instead of a compromise, I'm going to suggest a number of rules. If it drives you crazy to see someone standing in front of the refrigerator while pondering what to eat, you probably grew up back in the days when refrigerators had to be defrosted by hand. The rationale behind the rule may be antiquated, but if it's a rule, then it's a rule and follow it. <laughs> Eating without a plate. Often done as sink heating, but refueling in flight is rarely necessary. <laughs> if somebody else made the food, then it's kind of insulting to just treat it as mere fuel. The, real, the rule, put it on a plate, sit down and eat it. <laughs> Drinking from a container and putting it back in the refrigerator, the rule, never. <laughs> the logic and rationale has something to do with a scientifically established concept of backwash. But we don't need a rationale. <laughs> it's a rule. Bread generally comes sealed with a twisty or a plastic tab. It's not really necessary to put the, the sealer back on the, on the bread. You just give it a twist and tuck it underneath, and it keeps it pretty fresh, as well as the plastic tab. And most people lose the plastic tab anyway. Some people take great pride in their efficiency in loading the dishwasher, but the purpose of having a dishwasher is to make life easy. The rule is, load it well enough so that dishes, dishes get clean. You're loading a dishwasher. You're not packing for a three-week trip to Europe using only carry-on. <laughs> On your right is a sea sponge. Sea sponges are expensive. They last for years. On the left is a cellulose sponge. They're cheap. Some people like to sterilize them in the microwave. That's fine. But if it's not an expensive sp sponge, just throw it away. 
this is obviously a cellulose sponge. <laughs> I assume it started out maybe as someone's kitchen sponge, but, but maybe it got sterilized in a microwave too often and got magical powers, <laughs> and now, for some reason, it can live in the bottom of the ocean. But back to, <laughs> back to house rolls. Never use the kitchen sponge to wipe things off the floor. For that, keep a sponge under the sink or in some other designated place. Keep the kitchen sponge for dishes or wiping off clean counters. And when in doubt, throw it out or relegate it to the yuck sponge area. <laughs> the Simpsons never worked out a good rule for the trash. Homer claims the rule was whoever added the last piece of trash before it overflowed had to take it out. The rule, he who tops it off drops it off. Bart commented, nah, uh it isn't filled till it's spilled. <laughs> Unfortunately, not everything lends itself to clear-cut rules. For this, the best I can say is, don't let it get like this. <laughs> On the other hand, the final rule I have to offer tonight leaves no ambiguity. Despite all the rhetoric about the arbitrariness of rules, Despite the wisdom of Marcus Tully Cicero, of Thomas Jefferson, of Ludwig Wittgenstein, there are some absolutes in the world, some open and shut cases. <laughs> this is one of them. <laughs> the toilet seat always goes back down.